Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I'm a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on July 2nd, 2022 at approximately 6.27 p.m. PST. You know, rough day today, or more to the point, long day today. So I figured, what the heck? You know, I took a little bit of time out this afternoon. I had the live stream this morning. Really happy with the way things are going. Currently, now, when you lo when I'm looking at, or when you're looking at, your success in the material world, the first thing you've really got to look at is find a way to quantify it. So what I look at is this. Now, it took me, well, really about six months of, of almost constant badgering or constant requests from the people on Spaced Out Radio, from the viewers on Spaced Out Radio that have been listening to my to my show, the ET Connect, R. Keith Andrews with the ET Connection. That happens every Friday, the first Friday of every month from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. It's been going that way for approximately the last seven years. Now, after things started to move in the right direction, I turned around and finally started doing the doing the journey. Okay, doing this this vlog as it turns out. Now the first one was on was on March sixth of twenty twenty one. So here we are over a year later, and the best way I can figure out to gauge right now if I am doing better is I look I keep an eye on my current subscribers. Now I'm certainly not here. To compete with the with the million dollar you know with, or not million dollar, but with the with the YouTubers that are bringing in you know that have like hundreds of thousands of clients, I mean, hundreds of thousands of, of subscribers. I'm just not that entertaining, okay, and I'm in the in the wrong field for that. So I simply compete as it were with me. So right now I'm really happy. I'm, I'm looking at it right now, current time, I'm sitting at 290 subscribers. Now, from my end, that's like about 287 more than I was even planning, even considering. Right, I figure the people that you're actually related to, hopefully, will support you a little. Now, in my case, I watch that as one indicator. Okay, the other indicator that I look at is whether or not my whether or not my live feeds are actually climbing. Okay, because I've only started doing the live feeds about a month ago, I think. I think it's been about that. Wonder if that's actually the case, but in any event, okay, I look at each set of, of uh like in each of the videos to find out. Now, from your standpoint. When we take a look at your finances, okay, that is a quantifiable marker to determine whether your whether your financial world is turning around. So what I do, and I recommend you do it, okay, take a look at your bank accounts. Now, we don't look at bank accounts from the standpoint of how much interest they're making, because quite frankly, you know, you think about it, you're getting a certain percentage for your bank account. You can bet your bottom dollar. The bank is making better investments and using your money to make a much higher return. Now, I don't fault the banks for that in the slightest. Okay. They are getting, you know, they are giving us an intra a return on our investment. Okay. I question some of the calculations, but that's me. In all fairness, I question most things. But what I do know is if you look at the bank, Okay, if every, at the end of every month, you compare what you've got in the bank compared to what you started with, if it's up by even one penny, you're making an improvement. You're, in, you're improving your situation, even by only one penny. Okay, so I keep tabs on that. I've got three accounts that I keep an eye on. Okay, I've probably got more that I should worry about, but I've got three primary ones that I look at. And you know, I'm only I'm only down five hundred dollars from the beginning of, of from the beginning of June. Now the funny part about that is I'm down five hundred dollars between the three accounts, which is great, considering I just bought a new car. 
So not doing too bad in my eyes. But the catch is this. The material world does not mean a thing in a lot of ways. Okay, the reality is the more, you know, when we start looking at the way the world is, okay, we have to realize a couple of very important factors. You're all in the same boat. You're all right here, right now. And it does not matter how much money you've got, who you vote for, who you crawl into bed with. You're all going to die. Quite frankly, we're all going to die. I've just done it more often than you have. Okay, but we're taught to fear the whole nine yards. We're taught to fear change. We're taught to fear success. We're even taught... You know, you're, you're not only taught to fear your creator, you're taught to fear power. Okay, and this is one of the biggest things that we have to get by. Okay, you have the, the power to change your life. What you seem to be missing is the know-how. Okay, and that is quite literally the one primary reason I return to this world, to this lifetime, at this point. And that is to remind people, remind everyone in existence, that working together, we can make this a better world for virtually everybody. Now, it took me the first 56 years of my life to figure out I was doing this really bass backwards. Okay. And now what I'm finding is I got the one thing that I didn't think I'd ever manage. Okay. When I was a child, I only had three goals. One. Get off this mud ball. Okay. Now, the really comical part of it is that I, I had that goal. I should have probably said, get off this mud ball and don't bring me back. Having been abducted by aliens, and I'm not asking you to believe in it. Okay. I'm really not. This is just the way my life has gone. Okay. So I asked, you know, I, wanted, I desired to get off this mud ball. Managed to do that multiple times. Had it corroborated by multiple people. Okay, but the reality of it is, they brought me back. Oh well. Did I desired to see the 22nd century in a functionally healthy body. Now here's the kicker to it. In order to attain that, I've got to make 137 years old. Okay, I'm 59 right now. So I got about another 80 years that I got to pull my body back together and regenerate the damaged parts in order to accommodate that. Now, I have no functional idea and no way, well, I've got an idea. I've got no way of proving if this is possible, except to spend another 80 years here. Okay, now the oldest person I ever heard of this lifetime was about 20 years ago. I heard of an, of an African gentleman that died at 149. Now, I cannot prove it one way or the other. Somebody, aim, somebody else may be able to find the information somewhere on the internet. Knock yourself out. I'd love to find. I'd love to find out that that is an actual an, an actual number that can be corroborated. Okay, but that one's still going to take me a while to prove. The third one that I honestly thought I would never attain, attain was peace of mind. Well, that's the one that surprised me because I've actually got that about two, maybe three months back. No, let's see. Brother passed away in March, so in probably in January, maybe February, when I actually attained what I considered peace of mind. I know where I'm standing. I know where my life is. I know where it's heading. Or more to the point, I know where I'm heading. I cannot tell you whether or not I'll succeed. You've got goals yourself, and many of you have goals that somebody else has undoubtedly told you you cannot attain that. Okay, well, the reality of it is you can. You want to see prime, primary proof of that? This little t-shirt that I've got. This one I'm wearing right now. Yeah, that bounces around a lot. Okay, this is a t-shirt pr promoting a young lass that I know. Okay, sweet, and sweet, whoop, down here. Sweet Maria. Okay, 
10 years ago, she decided she that she desired to get into the MMA. And lo and behold, she is doing just that. Okay, this tells you it takes time. Okay, but it does happen. Now, that being said, myself, am I going to actually be watching the MMA, watching the MMA fights? You know, much as I'd love to say yes. Well, simply put, okay, she'll be fighting on July 20th of 2022. Down in the States somewhere, I honestly don't recall where. But am I going to watch the MMA? No. Primarily because I don't have cable. As a matter of fact, I'm really considering dumping my landline. Uh, okay, because frankly, the only thing I get on my landline is one person that phones me. Okay, one person I actually desire to hear from. And a whole pile of scam artists. Okay, I can't tell you how many times I picked up the phone on my landline to have somebody turn around and say, oh, your SIN number has been canceled. Oh, your visa has been overcharged. Right? I mean, people that are just absolutely doing everything they can to cripple other people. Sadly, it's succeeding with a lot of people. Okay, I keep getting getting calls from scam artists telling me, oh, there's been a problem with a product you ordered from ordered that's got held up in customs. Now, you know, I mean, think about it. If there's a problem with a product with something you've ordered, okay, if there is a problem with something at customs, is a customs officer actually going to phone you up and warn you before the police show up on your doorstep? Okay, Lord knows I had a problem years ago. I'd ordered something that I did not know was not legal. Okay, so I get a phone call from Fish and Wildlife at, and from the customs. And the guy, he gives me a badge number. He didn't give me a phone number. He didn't give me nothing. It's like, this is my badge number. This is who I am. I am calling because this, this package showed up sending you. Right. What it was, was I had ordered abalone shells. Okay, they got stopped at the border, and the border, the customs officer phones me up. Okay, and this is probably 15 years ago now. Phones me up and says, look, we are not sending these to you. The he says, sadly, you're going to, you're not going to get them. You're not getting your money back. But you're not in trouble. He says, on the other hand, the person that sold them to you, we're on a, we've already got people at their place. On the, you know, already got people dealing with them. They're in trouble. Now, people that are pulling these scam artists, I get so many on my landline that it's just, I'm no longer interested in it. Okay, so I'm just, I'm looking at terminating and I haven't fully decided whether I am or not. It's convenient to have in some ways, but... When you start looking at success, okay, and whether you're happy with your life, pick what you're content with, okay, and that's the thing you focus on, because I only follow three laws, okay, be, be true to yourself first, do unto others as you desire them to do unto you, and energy out, energy in, okay, now with that in mind, okay, with that in mind, those are the only three I look at, but compare the laws you follow, and I'm talking civil, marital, political, support, religious, doesn't matter. Take a look at the laws you follow and compare them to those three. And I do believe what you'll find is they all fit inside the same laws, inside those three laws. If you find one that does not, please drop me a line and let me know. Okay, put a uh, comment in the in the comments below, or look at the list of ways of contacting me below those, you know, below the video. Okay, let me know, because I'm still looking for that one piece of information that derails it. But thus far, those three laws cover it all. Okay, now, that being said, the reason I call myself a spiritual guide is this. Every every guide, every tool I offer, if it applies to me, I'm using it. 
okay, if it is a, the philosophies of life I talk about are the ones I personally live by. So find a way to mark to decide whether or not you're being successful for you. Speaking of phones. Well, that was annoying. That's the secondary landline I've got. And I have no idea who that, well, actually, I think that was my work. However, I'm off shift today. So it was probably a missed dial. Now that said, I'm not overly worried about it. But you take a, take a look at where your life is. Are you content with where your life is? Are you content with the state of your material world? Okay, now I've looked at a lot of different ways of doing things. And considering it took me 56 years to find the key myself, one of my goals, one of the reasons I do this is so that possibly I will mention something, I will offer a tool that you have not heard before that can speed you on the path towards actually attaining a better life for you. Instead of spending the next 50 years of your life striving to find a way to do it. Okay, that's the whole concept of this thing of working together. Okay, and I do have a request, I've got two requests for you. One, clearly changing the path society is on is not a one-person job. But if we all take care of our own little world, okay, our own little, little apartment, little house, doesn't matter. You correct the energy in your house. And that will have, and don't believe me, just watch what happens when you do it. Okay, do your own research. But making those changes in your life will alter the path that, you're, that your life is going on. And subsequently, it will alter the path of the people you come in contact with. So, the request I've got for you is absolutely, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel because there's a lot more coming up. I am shifting things. I'm looking at different ways of, of improving the information or at least the delivery. Because frankly, I find myself boring to listen to. You get to figure out whether I'm boring in your eyes. Okay. Growth for me in the, as far as subscriptions go, as far as the people I'm reaching, is slow. But then so is my weight loss. I decided, and about a year ago, I decided I did not like the weight I was at. Okay, you may have the same problem, and here's the neat little kicker to it. There's a lot of new medications coming out, a lot of new herbal concoctions, you know, and these, you know, these new medical people are coming out with, oh, let's try this brilliant idea. Cutting down on what you eat, and why I'm exercising a little more, Apparently, according to one, one ad that I saw, apparently does not may cause you to lose weight. It doesn't work anymore. It doesn't matter how much, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing a video I saw, okay, an advertisement for a new concoction. You know, exercising won't help you lose weight. Whether you exercise or you sit on your backside, okay, this medication is the only thing that'll work. Now, I made the mistake myself of buying into that for a little bit. I desired to drop my weight. So I bought one of these concoctions. I'd looked into it. It looked like the research was right. Okay. Problem. Took the medication for less than a week and had a heart attack. Okay. This was not a good medication. In all honesty, I really don't recall the name of the medication. But I do remember the result. I took the medication, I took it down to the farm, down to a, a pharmacy, and, and, you know, down to a local pharmacy that knows how to, do, to safely dispose of medication. At least, that's what I've been led to believe. So, I do hope that they do it. Now, whether they dump it, and I, you know, I just can't, I have, okay, we'll stop that. I really have no idea how they dispose of it. All I know is I've been told if you've got over if you've got outdated medication, take it to a pharmacy, they will dispose of it. Okay, they'll dispose of it safely. I can only surmise and hope that they're doing that. 
Okay. But I threw the medication out. But I will tell you this. By changing my diet, by eating more effectively, and by doing a little bit of exercise, and when I'm talking a little exercise, I'm talking like five minutes a day. Okay. In the last several months, I managed to drop 40 pounds. Okay. I'm down around the 205. I think I was down a little lower, but weight fluctuates. Okay. So am I, I'm hit a point where it's really kind of plateaued. I have not given up on my goal. My goal is still to break 200 on the downhill slide before the end of this year. If you've put your life on, if you put a project of yours on hold, okay, then absolutely, I'm telling you, people may tell you you cannot accomplish it. You know, there's lots of people that say, oh, don't go into the music industry. Don't go into the, and don't start writing. Don't become an artist because you cannot make money at that. Well, I'll tell you, there's an awful lot of millionaire artists out there. An awful lot of phenomenally wealthy musicians out there. So do not let anybody tell you that this is, I mean, let them tell you. But don't buy into this fallacy that you cannot make it. I will warn you, the odds of making it are not, like there are very few people that get into these industries that actually make a living at it. This does not mean it is not valuable. Okay. Now, one of the things that I've done, okay, back in grade 10, I wrote a story outline. But it took me until 2019. Now, I, I graduated in 1981. It took me until 2019 to get the first book of the series out. Okay, and that was the birth of the wolf pack. Okay, this started way back in, way back in 19, would have been 70, 78. Okay, back in grade 10. Yeah, would have been 78, 79 when I first started writing this. Okay, it is now in print, in case you couldn't tell. Okay, but the, in the Elder Barking Chronicles, this series... Okay, is a series that is available on Amazon. Now, I've taken that, and for me, it's a question of one step at a time. I've got 12 books in that saga that have to be, that I've got to deal with. Okay, I'm just calling up a program here. Just bringing up the data feed so I actually know what I'm up to. And, of course, now, hopefully, well, no, they can't be there. So we move that over there, and we go open the compendium. And what do we got? Worry about that afterwards. Uh, the original version that was created, that's intriguing. Apparently something shut down. Okay, so that's okay. So we close that and we carry on. Now, what I was looking for was this piece. Okay, right now, I have written approximately just a little over 30%, well, frankly, a little over 31% of the of the storyline. Page-wise, it's 31. Content-wise, I'm over a quarter of the way done, the so done writing the saga. Okay. But this is a long drawn out project. So I take a look at it and go, okay, how much am I, how far along am I getting? My goal is to get the whole story out. Okay, this is going to take me in all likelihood another seven or eight years. I've still got 10 books to put out. But the birth of the wolf pack is out. The end of an epic is out. The next one I'm working on, which is Return to Paradise, the third book in the final trilogy. I'm looking at having it in print before the end of the year or very early next year. Okay, and the next one will be a year after that. Okay, now from my standpoint, these are just ways of gauging whether I am being successful in my eyes. Okay, if you've put a project on hold because somebody else told you you weren't good enough, 
They're not the ones that have to decide on it. Remember, I, I just got the update today. Okay, roughly speaking, there is there is approximately approximately seven point nine billion people on this planet. Do not kid yourself. Somebody's going to like what you and what you're doing. Okay, if you've got a goal to get something into print or to write a screenplay. I've seen some of these, you know, so, and like I've seen these and some of these videos you're looking at, I'm going, why did you do that? Well, the reality is I didn't like them. That doesn't mean nobody else did. Okay. I mean, let's face it. You take a look at somebody like Stephen King, phenomenal, phenomenal author. Many people love the man. He's a bestseller repeatedly. Okay. Myself. I don't actually, I don't enjoy his work. Okay. That's not a call against him. He's got, he is a phenomenal writer. For me, not the genre I work in. Okay. I mean, let's face it. I write in science fiction, in science fiction, science fantasy, self-help, reference. Okay. I write children's and I write poetry. Okay. He is a suspense or horror writer. Two areas that I don't write in. Okay, I also don't write in historical. I don't write nonfiction. Okay, well, that's not entirely true. Okay, um, for me, The Races of the Worlds. Okay, the, the book that I've written, the reference manual I've, I've written, is based on races I've personally run into. Now, again, you don't have to have to believe that. Okay, but it is absolutely necessary to get into your head. Are you content with your life? If the answer is yes, then carry on. If not, pick one thing you're not content with and alter that item. Change everything around you that you are not content with. Rearrange the energy so that you're eliminating the things you're not content with. By definition, if you eliminate everything you're not content with, all you're left with is a, ha is a world and a life that you're happy with. Okay, now with that in mind, I will be back again tomorrow. But until then, take care of yourselves and each other. And for pity's sakes, stay positive.